Hello viewers and my dear students. This presentation is delivered by Professor Pranav Kumar Shite. Today we are going to learn our fifth chapter Linen and Uniform Room. From Accommodation Operations 1 HS303. Learning Outcomes from the Chapter Layout of Linen Room Classification and Selection of Linen Classification of Bed, Bath and Restaurant Linen Sizes of Linen Calculation of Linen Requirement Linen Control, Linen Inventory Par Stock, and Linen Coverage Handling of Hotel Uniforms Discard Management what is linen? Linens are fabric household goods intended for daily use such as bedding, tablecloths, and towels. Let us understand some of the important areas in the layout of linen room. Linen room store and uniform hanging area. Sewing room. Linen and uniform exchange counter. Soiled linen collection and sorting area. Supervisor's desk. Inspection area. Guest laundry area. Access to laundry. Let us understand some of the important areas in the layout of linen room. Linen room store and uniform hanging area. Staff lockers. Sewing room. Linen and uniform exchange counter. Soiled linen collection and sorting area. Supervisor's desk. Inspection area. Guest laundry area. Access to laundry. Types of linen room. Centralized linen room. From here the linen is distributed throughout the hotel by using this as a central depot. Decentralized linen room. Each floor maintains its own par stock. These are replenished from one main linen room. Activities carried out in linen room. Collection of soiled linen from rooms, food and beverage outlets, recreation areas, banquets. Counting and sorting of soiled linen as per color, department, fabric, washing specifications etc. Packing and dispatching of soiled linen to laundry. Receipt of fresh linen from laundry. Checking and sorting of fresh linen. Storage of fresh linen and distribution to floor and other areas. Stocking of linen. Stitching, repairing and monogramming of all hotel linen. Classification of linen. Bed linen. Bath linen. Soft furnishing. Guest laundry. Napery. Cleaning cloth. Staff uniforms. Bed linen includes. Bed sheets. Duvet crinkle sheets, duvet covers, bed spreads, cushion covers, mattress protectors. Bath linen includes bath towels, bath sheets, hand towels, bath mat, shower curtains, face towels, bath robe. FNB linen includes tablecloth, aprons, frills, buffet runners. Serviettes, chair covers, slip cloth. Selection criterion for bed linen, bed sheets. Should have a good finish, usually with a slight luster, and be made from a non crease fabric so as to retain its appearance. They should be easily launderable and the fabric should not lose color in repeated washes. Mostly bed sheets made from linen or union, a combination of cotton and linen are preferred. Blended fabrics like polyester cotton or terry cot are commonly used 65% of cotton and 35% ma'am made combinations are best. The crinkle sheet or night sheet is made of cotton sear suckers. The sheet should be large enough to be tucked in securely around the mattress. Selection criterion for bed linen, pillow cases. Should have a good finish, usually with a slight luster, and be made from a non-crease fabric so as to retain its appearance. They should be easily launderable and the fabric should not lose color in repeated washes. 
Blended fabrics like polyester cotton or terry cotton are commonly used 65% of cotton and 35% man-made combinations are best. Long bag type cases are mostly used which fold in at the open end. The pillow case is stitched well by measuring the circumference of the pillow and add 2 to 4 inches to allow for shrinkage and perfect fit. Selection criterion for bed linen, blanket. These need to adhere to the body in order to provide warmth. In order to be comfortable, they should be soft, smooth, and resilient and not too heavy. Pure woolen blankets that are napped are ideal in this respect, but they are difficult to launder and are attacked by insects. Most often to reduce difficulty in maintaining woolen blankets blended fabrics are used with a combination of wool plus a synthetic fabric, acrylic. A less durable alternative is made from nylon fibers which are electrostatically flocked on polyurethane, Fibrolock. These are suitable for those who are allergic to wool. Selection Criterion for Bed Linen, Duve. They consist of a filling sandwiched or stitched in a fabric case with a changeable cover. The filling may be duck slash goose feathers or a combination of both but these are the expensive and difficult to maintain. The synthetic ones are largely preferred by the hotels which usually have a filling of polyester fibers and are easy to maintain. To save on laundering cost a duvet should be covered with a duvet cover. Selection Criterion for Bath Linen Needs to be gentle on skin with high degree of absorbency and lint-free. Linen or cotton are fibers mostly used for making towels. For hat and face towels dobby weave is preferred. Bath towels are invariably made from Turkish toweling using a pile weave known as the terry weave. They should be easy to maintain. Selection criterion for F&B linen, napery. The fabric selection largely depends on its launderability. Stain removal should be the biggest criterion along with retention of color. As far as appearance is concerned it should match the décor and have luster for a good finish. The fabric should be preferably non-slippery. The fabric considered ideal for table linen is damask. Blends are not suitable as the linen cannot be starched for crisp effect. Calculation of linen requirement. The category of hotel. Business Hotel, Resort, Transit Hotel, Budget Hotel, and the Star category has to be kept in mind while selecting the linen and calculating for the smooth flow of operations. Location It refers to the place or point where the hotel is built and the type of clientele, including whether most of the occupancy is family business or single travelers. Number of rooms and the type of rooms the hotel offers to its clients for example single, double, suite etc. Number of beds. The number of rooms and beds always varies in a hotel depending on the types of rooms offered. The volume of F&B operations. It includes the types of food and beverage outlets, banqueting facility etc. The number of functions and variety of recreational activities offered by the hotel. Linen control, linen inventory. Effective control is possible through the following practices. Routine checking of linen for appearance and hygiene standards. Quantity control of the daily flow of linen stock slash linen exchange procedure. Stock taking or physical inventory of linen. Proper documentation of linen through the master linen inventory control sheet. Steps to prevent damage. Check for faulty linen shoots, carts, baskets, washers, etc. which might tear linen and uniforms. Put restrictions on the misuse of linen by employees by inspecting employee locker rooms or fining them for misuse. Laundry should be carefully done, do not use bleach in excess. Linen should be exchanged strictly on a one-to-one -one basis. Employees must not wipe spilled food or other spillage with white linen. Par stock. Par stock is the minimum linen and uniform required to meet the daily demands so as to ensure smooth operations. Par stock is the quantity of stock required to support daily housekeeping functions. A number of factors outlined in this section, 
go into the setting up of the PAR stock for linen. The laundry cycle for linen. Occupancy level and usage of linen. Replacement interval during the year. Discard management. Discarded or condemned linen are items that are no longer useful in their present condition. Due to some damage such as permanent stain or simply wear and tear. Cutting down refers to the using of any discarded materials for some other purpose, such as bed sheets being used as dust sheets or being made into pillow covers. Turning discards into rags is one of the simplest and most common ways of recycling. Large discarded sheets can be cut down for use as crib sheets, aprons, and other such articles. All discarded should be accounted for and properly recorded.